During the live streams, I keep getting asked when I'm placing trades like this. Mike, is your stop trailing automatically or are you doing it manually? Now, normally I do it manually, but today I'm going to show you guys a way to trail a stop automatically using the Ninja Trader ATM strategies. Now, one of the most common questions I get on the live stream is, Mike, how big is your target? How big is your stop loss? If we come right over here to the ATM strategy, I select edit. Normally, as a default, a fail safe stop loss, I have a 40 tick stop loss, as you can see right here. Then my profit target is 20 ticks. However, you'll see me quite often on the live stream. As soon as I put the trade on, I move the target out of the way. Then as a, tra as a trade goes in my favor, I then start to trail that stop loss up. Today, we're gonna create an ATM strategy where I'll no longer have to move the target out of the way, nor will I have to continually manually move the stop loss higher and higher trailing it as price continues to go higher. Now, if you guys don't wanna miss the next time I go live, make sure you're subscribed and you have the bell notifications turned on for all. So now let's talk about how to get to the ATM strategy. You might say, Mike, I know it's right over here. Well, not everybody uses chart trader. So right up here on top of your chart, you'll see this icon right over here. And if we hover over it, it says chart trader. If we select it, I select off. We no longer have a way to go ahead and select the ATM from the chart trader. There are other ways. However, chart trader is my preferred method of entering trades. So now I'm simply gonna come right over here, select that icon, select chart trader. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up an ATM from scratch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right over here to where it says custom. Now, right up here at the top where it says order quantity, we wanna set this to how many contracts we're normally trading. And if you're a trader that's always all in or all out of your positions, you're not scaling, that's not gonna be that important. You can leave this at one. And something I do wanna warn you about, and I'm gonna show you a pitfall that you could run into. I want you guys to think about this ahead of time. But for this example, I'm just gonna put a quantity of three. I'm gonna set this at 10, and I'm gonna set this at 20. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna name it video test. That way I can go ahead and delete it after this video. And I want you guys to see real quick, all right? Let's say that for instance, I'm on my normal ATM. You can see right here, it's at one contract. However, if I go ahead and select the ATM that I just made, where it says video test, notice the quantity right up here. The quantity went to three contracts. That is a problem I've had in the past. So if you're a trader that likes to go all in or all out, then that's something you wanna consider. The last thing you wanna do is accidentally put on more contracts than what you're originally thinking you're gonna put on. And that could cause a lot of problems if you're trading with prop firms. Speaking of prop firms, now if you want a way to support the channel and you trade with prop firms like Apex, My Fund and Futures, or even Take Profit Trader, use the links in the description box down below to get the best deals because before you selected that ATM, maybe you had just one contract selected in this box. And I'm gonna show you guys once again, right? Right up here at test, you can see it has one contract. Soon as I move this back down the video test, it goes to three contract. Now, what we can do is we can select one contract from there. Now, what we can do is we go ahead and hit buy market and notice it only put on one contract. Why is that? Very simple, because we only had one contract selected over here. Now, if we come over here and we hit edit, notice it says quantity one, even though we saved it. And this is where a lot of traders get tripped up. And what I mean by this is we're gonna close this out. Now, if I go ahead and just go back to it, the other ATM, the A-Test ATM, then we go back to the video ATM, notice it goes back to three contracts. This is something we most certainly wanna pay very close attention as we're setting up the ATM. But let's come back over here now and we're gonna go ahead and put the quantity at one. Now, what I'm gonna do for the profit target, I'm gonna simply put it at zero. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stop loss at 40 ticks, which is my default stop loss level, my catastrophic stop loss level. Now, from here where it says stop strategy, I wanna go ahead and select the drop down menu where it says custom. Go ahead and select custom. Now, when we look at this window right here, where it says auto trail, you wanna make sure it's not collapsed, make sure it's make sure you select like that. You need to see these steps. We're gonna go ahead and select step number one, and this is gonna be, you know, how close do we want price to actually trail? Now, for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll set this to 15 ticks. 
our profit trigger. We're going to say once the market moves 20 ticks in our favor, we want to go ahead and move the stop loss frequency every single new higher tick. We want the stop loss to move up. Now we can have this set to a higher number, but for this example, we want this set to one. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save a template as our video test. I'm going to select OK, hit OK again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and hit buy market. Notice we have no take profit up here, so we don't have to no longer diddle around trying to move that take profit out of the way. Our initial stop loss is down here, our catastrophic stop loss. Now, if everything is working like it should be, I'm going to go ahead and hit play on, on market replay. Once price, there you go, move 20 ticks in our favor. Notice it's automatically trailing price. And we're going to see how far will the market go before we finally get dinged out of this trade. There we go. We're finally out. Therefore, we no longer have to sit there and try to move the stop loss up, 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 up. And we can set that to whatever duration best suits your trading strategy. Now, if you'd like to see a complete NinjaTrader tutorial, make sure to watch this video right here.